Hey guys, today's Friday, the last day of Snacks Week. So we have one more snack to show you, probably more of a lunch than a snack, but this is Kensington's famous um, grilled cheese that she loves to make. So she's gonna go ahead and get you started and then I'm sure I'll interrupt okay. at some point. Okay, so first off, you wanna get your two pieces of bread out and you wanna put them on a flat surface or on a plate. And then you wanna get two kinds of cheese. Today we are using Colby Jack or provolone. You could either use one piece or doesn't really matter. We also like American, um, which we didn't get American. Um, so it could be even like Velveeta, but if, honestly, it's just whatever you have, whatever you want to use, we typically use two. You want to put um, one piece, like the provolone on one slice, and then the um, Colby Jack on the other. And then you combine it together, and then we'll take this over here. Wait, you're gonna spray? Well, I'll go ahead. I'll go ahead okay. and warm up these skillets. Go ahead. Okay. Are you going to um, put butter on it then? Yeah. Which one are we doing the pesto? First, go ahead. Go ahead and get the other one ready. Yeah, okay. set that one up, and then. So this one, it we're gonna see what it looks like with the spray butter or the actual butter in the pan. So we'll just put spray butter on this one. Okay. And then you can put it on both, but I don't want to smear the butter. Next, you could do, you want to do pesto? Uh, you can do it. Okay. okay, so this is our gourmet grilled cheese. Um, actually, we got this a couple years ago. And you guys, we make pesto when we, when we make stromboli, which we'll probably do that um, next week. We went, um, Troy stopped yesterday at Dutch Cupboard, and they were out of pepperoni. So apparently that is um, in hot demand. So... Just the key to the pesto though is a little bit goes a long way. If you remember with the stromboli, you really, a little bit, it's so flavorful and it's so good and it looks disgusting. Um, we don't eat pesto raw because it has raw egg in it. Um, so just a teeny tiny bit. And this is gonna kick up the grilled cheese flavor a ton, okay? So we're only gonna put that on one side and then she's still gonna go ahead and put both cheeses on there. Mm -hmm. The other thing we did is I heated up the skillets um, because you do, it is easier to start if those are warm. Now, we made one, we'll go ahead and put both of those cans in this okay. um, skillet with the butter. And then we'll do one more, again, just kind of showing you, for example, lots of different things you could do. So on this one, we're going to do wheat bread. It's only 45 calories, but maybe that's because it looks like half half pieces of bread. Um, and then I'll probably eat this one. I just want, again, just a ton. You do not need a lot of this pesto. Um, so this is pesto that we purchased. Um, oh, that bowl? one's ready to go. Yeah. As soon as your skillet, and she's kind of hearing that margarine sizzle, as soon as that skillet is ready to go. Now, because my bread is literally like half the size, um, we're just going to rip these in half. You do want to make sure that your bread pieces kind of line up so that those make sense. I'm going to spray both sides. And you'll kind of see Ken, she'll spray both sides once she gets there. And then we're going to stick these on the skillet. I care. Just in time. Look these in time. Okay, I'm going to rinse my hands real quick. Um, then we'll move you guys over so you can see the grilled cheese. Now, I will tell you, Kensington... People love her grilled cheese. We're including it as a snack, even though probably, um, again, probably similar to Caroline's um, PB&J. It's more of a lunch. Um, and honestly, oh, you guys got to check out my new tea towel. She got her merch. That's her first merch. I got some merch. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. Check that out. My mom made that. Pretty cool. Um, but... I also, when we did breakfast, I thought about including it when we made the, I'm just going to set this here because I don't want to fall on the ground. Um, I thought about including grilled cheese when we made breakfast food because it is a pretty decent choice for you. It has some, um, it does have the cheese in it, again, depending on what you would want to add to it. Um, several years ago, when I had a little bit of a commute to work, I would have a grilled cheese each day for breakfast. Now, one thing to kind of think about, yeah, you can. 
No, you're good. Yeah. Okay. And then kind of push it down because you want your cheese to melt. We did make these one day with. Wait, which one's the pesto again? No. Um, I think that one. Yeah, that one. There's a ranch. We did make these yeah. one day with homemade bread. bread. Isn't that golden? Yes. Perfect, right? Yeah. Let's check this one out. This one's mine. My little baby one over here. Those are the wheat that you usually cook. Yeah. One thing to kind of keep in mind, wheat will cook a little better. Um, and we made them with homemade bread, and it was really thick. Okay, so we're cooking. Yep, just keep that. There you go. All right, so these will be pretty tasty when they're done, remembering that you can add any kind of cheese. I don't know. Remember, you can add any kind of cheese that you want. Um, and, okay, we will tell you. We will post some pictures. All right, guys, I hope you're staying healthy and happy. Ken, get back in. This was yours. This is one that Ken's made. Um, and I hope you guys have a good day. Bye, guys.